Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. And I'm Steve. <laughs> and I'm sure Steve. Now. You sure? <laughs> 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 I'm Steve. I'm Brett. This is John. <laughs> Vice versa. <laughs> Christy and the dude. Hey. The dude. Dude. Uh oh. Dude Uh-oh. here. You need a, um, a dude. <laughs> you need your your pants, dude. And your wig. I'm missing a white Russian. Hey, dude, he's taking I'm magi- <laughs> Why magically. Why are you drinking getting... a white Russian? Yeah. I need to have a white Russian show up. Just appear. <laughs> so what are you drinking? Mm. Yeah, and just float in. Right. Um, There's a it's beverage amazing. here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the beverage. Um, this is, it's called uh, Nooner. It's nice a pils- name. It's a Ooh, Pilsner. Like <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, it's a Pilsner from uh, Sierra Nevada. It's uh, pretty good. It's a Pilsner, so it's got that sort of, um, the way I think of it, it's, it's, it's a fresher taste and not necessarily in a good way, unfortunately, uh, which is funny because I think Pilsners are aged longer, aren't they? But to me, it actually tastes fresher in a weird way, like as in like the hops haven't necessarily been like, you know, dried out or something like that. Is what it kind of tastes like to me. I like a the taste of fresh hops in, in an IPA, at least. Right. Yeah, I don't know. It's just with a Pilsner, I've kind of noticed that a lot. It doesn't, it, it doesn't taste bad in all of them, but some of them, if it's not done right, it just seems like, oh, yeah, we just, you know, kind of like... Pilsner's a type of lager. Yeah. So that's the thing. It's, it, it's been aged longer, technically, but it's no. always taste... Longer? So longer is, isn't that longer? No. That's... Just that's, a lower temperature then, yeah? Yes. Okay, all right. That's why the art of I have made beer before, I swear. <laughs> but not lagers. And a very not good not lager. Yeah. Or two. Yeah, I was really proud of the the pomegranate ale. I gotta do that again. If I start brewing again, I just have to find all my equipment. Pomegranate season is current. It is, uh-huh. yeah. That would be I was really talking good. to a guy today about a beer that he did. It was a pumpkin porter. Okay. Which I thought was interesting because usually pumpkin beers are lighter. Right. That does sound really good. Yeah. He said it was good. I'm not usually a big fan of fruity beers. Mm-hmm. Uh, although, Pumpkin's Ale a Smith. Vegetable. Ale Smith has a really <laughs> good pumpkin ale. I don't know. It's got seeds. It's, it might a, be a it's, it's a vegetable. No, it might be a fruit. It's totally a vegetable. It grows on a vine. Mm. I think it might be a fruit. So do uh, watermelons. Right. I think it might be. Of course, watermelon's not a melon. (laughs) But (laughs) cantaloupes do, too. And they're they're fruit. Yeah. Well, apparently I don't know what a fruit or a vegetable is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go home, I'm going to rethink my life. <laughs> what days I called out from school that did not allow me to make those connections. <laughs> Definitely you shouldn't have called out on the one that had talked about Pilsners. Yeah. <laughs> Just drink your neuter. <laughs> Just drink and enjoy it, damn it. All right. So uh, an interesting topic came up came to mind recently. I read an article. I it was, I, didn't, I didn't think it was a very good article, so I'm not going <laughs> to mention it. But, but essentially it brought up the topic of uh, policing the liberty movement. We've had some... Tar and feather ends. <laughs> <laughs> when things get bad, tar and feather solves all problems. Tar and feather them, put them on a house backward, slap the horse on the ass, and watch him run out of town. So, Have a good one, so is, that what, is that what we should do to, yes, to everyone, Jeffrey Tucker? Yes, yeah, anything that gets wild, just tar and feather. Just tar and feather. Just don't think twice about it. Just get it done. You know, it might be what we should do. Well, I'm not saying tar and feather, but I don't think we do it. I don't think... We, as social beings, will out somebody, um, we just won't. I, I've seen it. I've seen people who are doing wrong, and people won't say anything about it. But that doesn't mean we actually... No, there's actually... Uh, uh, there's 26 current societies on this planet that are essentially nonviolent. Child abuse and spousal abuse are nearly non-existent. Or non-existent. Mm. They may have other problems, but that it doesn't manifest as violence within their communities. 
and one of there there's a few of them are African tribes. There's a couple of uh, uh, Christian based uh, societies, communities. Yeah. right? Communities, but uh, one common thing is uh, they'll ostracize. Like this one village in in Africa, and I can't remember the people specifically, but whenever two people start squabbling, if there's a squabble that occurs, they literally, the rest in the immediate area will turn their back on them. And it's like, serves as a signal, like, hey, pipe down. Oh, wow. That is cool. So I'm simply saying, I'm simply saying that that it, we can actually we have models that exist that okay. we could say that it it's not impossible i guess i'm looking within our own right. liberty movement that i've been involved in for the past you know 20 years i haven't seen it i haven't seen where people are openly avail you know, will well, because they're, they're just too scared to be ostracized themselves because they ostracized I, I just, yeah well we talked about one uh just before the show and for the life of me, I can't think of his name right now. And we just talked about, about it. Spangler. Spangler, Spangler yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. I hate to give him any more time than... Spangler zero. or Chris Cantwell? Than Zero, <laughs> yeah. Or were we talking about, we talking yeah. about both of them? Yeah. We were talking about both of them, but okay. Spangler is a lot more successful situation. Of course, his situation is a lot more... Extreme. Extreme than, than right. Cantwell, too. Uh-huh. Um, and... Uh, basically, he com- he committed a heinous crime, and he was instantly ostracized by everyone. Yeah, no one wanted to be associated yeah, that's cool. with him that's good. afterward. As a matter of fact, it was so pervasive that if he just happened to be on your friends list still on Facebook, <laughs> you got several co- got several messages from other people saying, "Hey, did you know that this guy on your Facebook?" You know, page- I should check because I. <laughs> oh. Why is anybody talking to me? <laughs> 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 that was a long time with Libertopia, like four years ago. Okay. <laughs> no, but it was like last year, wasn't it? Almost yeah. at this point. It was, it was, yeah, it was, it was a, a little while ago yeah. now. Yeah. Um, Cantwell's kind of a mixed bag, though. Uh, you have some people who the Free State Project, for instance, famously uh, cut him out. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, was that pork fest this year, or uh, it that? was? It was a few years ago. Okay. Yeah, it was like three. Sounds about right. It, Man, it was. He had made a comment, or he had written an article, or something, or oh, that's made right several about. articles <laughs> about how libertarians should essentially kill cops. Yeah, that's not, something <laughs> like that. That's not exactly what he was saying. It's. The articles sound more like to me that it's moral to kill cops because it's in defense. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's a topic that legitimately should be discussed. But there, there, was, but, there was an implication in there of not like saying right. that you should do it, but, but that anyway. it would be moral to, and then and written in such a way that see what happened to all these people if they had only, you know, which, again, is accurate. Like, okay, yeah, if somebody's attacking you just because they have a shiny copper thing on their, on their you know, chest doesn't mean that all of a sudden, you know, they're, you should just surrender to whatever they want to do. Then there's also his bad behavior at Porkfest itself. Yeah. Driving drunk through the camp area and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, that's not good. <laughs> and that's not good at all. generally being a belligerent drunk. Well, but there are belligerent drunks. You know, so... Yeah, but but we, when you're putting people in danger, that's, that's... No, that's not cool. That's yeah. not cool. And generally, I just yeah. don't stay around, hang around belligerent drunks for too long <laughs> anyways. I just don't like that, uh, that, that sort and of... And that's but, part of the, the deal. Yeah. But still, yeah. to this day, you have people who are, like, adamant followers of... Cantwell and anything that comes up negative about him, they're right there to defend him. Which mm-hmm. I, it blows my mind why anybody would defend his bad behavior. But those people exist. Um, of course, there was the incident too with uh, Ademo 
sharing pictures. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a little that. Uh, I don't know all. And the... there was people actively sharing picture, sharing those pictures, and claiming that they were doing nothing wrong. What pictures? What I'm not familiar with. What's going on? Nick, naked pictures. What what's okay, are, so are these people n naked and they're okay with being naked? No, the, no. okay. They, so they were they were private pictures no, sent no. Okay. that was were then no, shared with. Cool. Okay, so from what I understand of the situation, they were, or rather, she was, and I don't need to mention any names because that is just really I don't think helps the situation. Yeah. So from what I understand of the situation, she was naked and I believe she was photographed with her consent but I don't think she was like oh yeah go ahead put it out on the internet show everybody that's that's to my, that's my extent of what well, I know my understanding that. they were sent to somebody who has been outwardly negative toward her yeah okay who so, then shared it with everyone yeah so it, it may was it like an ex-boyfriend or something yeah yeah okay yeah that's probably not the best thing to do is like hey i have mm -hmm. naked pictures of your ex-girlfriend here you go no, 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 no. <laughs> no it was it was here are pictures of my ex-girlfriend yeah oh, he to did it. the person who was uh, her her essentially her her enemy Right. Who then spread them with a whole bunch of other people on the internet? So why is it that you know? Uh, but but then. So do you not want to say their names? See, so could you not say their names? So then we ostracize. I don't know who they are. Maybe I. Would, I since I, I don't I, like. I don't remember his na oh, okay. their names. Okay. Um, Adamo is the only, was the one who initially who leaked is. it. Yeah. Okay. And I don't, I don't think it's necessary to mention the woman's yeah, but, name. Oh, no. no, I know, woman, no, woman, I know who no. it is, but I don't, I no, don't, see I don't, I don't know. That, she's I don't, a, that's she's not gonna. Not, she's an innocent bystander here. Yeah, but she's, she's. But I'm saying, but that's where situation. ostracizing comes in. Are we willing to take all these people that you're saying don't have names and put right. names in front of this camera mm -hmm. and have people see it? You know, mm -hmm. like the woman. No, she should be nameless. I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not aware of it, so I don't, I don't, I don't I either. I don't I can't know. Even, I, don't yeah. even, I can't speak to it because okay. I don't know the yeah. yeah. Neither do I. But yeah, the ostracism is uh, it's not necessarily in action, even though it might appear to be. So that's that's a good point. Uh, you know, and the thing, Christy, you mentioned it before. Like you know, we we turned the cameras on was or cam cameras <laughs> camera. Uh, <laughs> we used to cameras. we used to have we two cameras. Two <laughs> we used to have two cameras, so I'm not crazy <laughs> saying cameras. Um, but. Um, you mentioned it, that you know we you know that's something that as a community we tend to want to do. It's like, well, how do we solve this problem in a nonviolent way? Well, we don't like this person. Don't communicate with them. Right. But I I think there is we we say that, but then it doesn't. It never happens. That person kind of will will jump from one like community of like libertarians to another community of libertarians until like years later everybody's like finally like okay this person really is an asshole we can't deal with him anymore so um, yeah so that that is it, it's so is it right to be like okay so like we're, like in this situation that we're talking about is it right to say like okay well this man shared naked pictures of this woman who will remain nameless to another man who we both know the names of. I don't know the name of both of both of the men that were involved in the situation. So for me to say like, oh, well, I know who it is, right. it would just, yeah, be gossip. It would be gossip. It, 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 it would be right either, to do it. Right. But yeah. if if I did know who it was and I knew like the more of the entirety of the situation, I wouldn't have any guilt saying that because it's like, hey, you know, this guy probably shouldn't have done that. But since I don't really know who it is, right. like I'd feel uncomfortable yeah. saying that. Like Steve says, he has an idea, but you said you don't know the other guy's name involved. Yeah, I don't either, remember. So, I, was, I, yeah. I never really knew the guy very well, mm -hmm. um, and and so I, when things first came out, mm -hmm. uh, his name was all over the place, mm -hmm. uh, connected with the incident. But I don't I don't remember what it is now. And the thing that's really messed up about like something like that is that, you know, when you put something on the internet, it, in theory, it's never off the internet. Yeah. You know, I mean, they, you know, Too people say like, oh mm -hmm. yeah, you know, you know, you could if you delete it off the website, it's gone. It's like no, it's the internet. Once you yeah. put it out mm -hmm. there, it's linked somewhere. It's copied somewhere. It's somewhere. Even if it's not on the internet, somebody may have copied it to their hard drive, and it's only going to be back up there whenever the they want to put it back machine. up. Yeah, yeah the wayback machine. 
What is uh, that white wine? Over? That's another it, topic. What kind of uh, backs up uh, your your old old websites, old web pages and stuff, and uh, you can retrieve it. So wow, I've never heard that. Yeah. It's a website. Yeah. So people go there to Wait find up. like things that have really? been removed from wow. the internet. I right? just learned something. Yeah. I need to go there. I'm looking for an article <laughs> that I read once. That's huh. pretty interesting. It, it might. It? Yeah. No, it might be there. Yeah. It's. Yeah. I, I checked it out. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So the question becomes. For what kinds of things do we ostracize people for? Yeah, because it's a huge responsibility to ostracize somebody because that's, you know, that's huge to have them being, not being able to be a part of the community that they're in. That's well, huge. It's so a big responsibility on me. You know, it's like if I do it, it's got to be true. There's got to be facts. There's got to be evidence. You know, it's like I, I couldn't do it lightly. Violations of ethical yeah. codes and moral codes. I don't know. I think sometimes, like in, you know, in uh, this community, I th- it, it kind of makes me laugh sometimes that like people will say something that is maybe does not necessarily follow the exact line of thinking of what you might want to call like anarcho-capitalism or voluntarism. It may not follow that exact same thread, but it's like you know, you know, it's just a little bit off of of, of that pathway and you'll have somebody who's just like wait what did you say and then they get like super offended by it it's the whole like libert you know the, the old libertarian joke of like we agree about 90 percent of things but we sit there and argue about the other 10 percent all day and you know like I, I i think an example is is uh i mean it's not like we were we were constantly bombarded with with negative feedback and you know and comments all day or something but we you know we did an episode uh, a few months back on, on property rights and, and things like that and you know we 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 we, we sat here and we kind of openly discussed about well what is property what is the nature of it what is it and you know and i think on the the you know the the comment thread for that that episode it was all like well this is just this doesn't conform to voluntarism all this sort of stuff and you know i'm reading the like you know the four or five comments like i'm saying like it's not like we were like bombarded with messages or anything but i'm reading it, i'm sitting there thinking i'm like you know i just like i responded with a comment or something like well we're just simply asking the nature of what it is it's not necessarily that we're saying that like well, you know, okay, well, what is authority? And then all of a sudden, you know, we start, you know, like having pictures of Karl Marx on the show or something. We're just simply quest- questioning what the nature of it is. That's not like that, that doesn't not conform with a certain ph- philosophical argument. It's just simply wondering, okay, well, where does it come from? What is the origin of it? You know, and just even doing something like that in, in, in this community, like, all of a sudden it was like, hey, what are you guys talking about? Are you guys a bunch of commies? What's going on? See, but I've never had that view. I'm very much, you know, live and let live. Mm-hmm. If you don't harm anybody, I don't care. You know, I'm not that anal about, like, your nuances. It's like, again, if you're not harming anybody, it's a, so to ostracize somebody would have to be really heinous. It would have to be something like, you know, um, a molestation or something. It would have to be something right. that was really bad. So something, and something, something violent. Something, something violent. Yeah. Something outright violent. Well, I could, you know. Obviously, theft. I think. Yeah, theft yeah, would. Right, yeah, which sure. is a violence. Yeah, yeah. It's a violence of somebody's. Right. Like and space and stuff. If someone's, I don't know. It, uh, if. What about working for the government? I mean, somebody. Well, sometimes the I think that. Uh, to, me, to me, it's a big, di- it's a big difference I, of what exactly yeah. it is that you do for the government. Yeah, but sometimes I understand yeah. why they're doing it. They're just taking from it. You know, you might as well just take from them until right. they've collapsed. You know, it's like you're gonna collapse. You know? <laughs> well, hopefully, our sons take away from this. You know, the sons of anarchists, sons of volunteerists. You know. Don't go into government employment, and yeah. the daughters yeah. don't bring them home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a way. Women stop yeah, rewarding right. them, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> I know a, a lot of Marines that it, uh, if they thought they weren't going to get laid because yeah, of being a Marine, right. then yeah. they didn't stop being a Marine I pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely and, one of the and, perks. Yeah. And um, you know, but. Um, that's nothing new. That's the thing that's really funny. That's been a motivating factor going back like thousands of years. Oh, yeah. It was like, oh, yeah, you put on this uniform and go be brave and all the women will love you. 
Uh, that being said, the motivation for wars hundreds of years past have sometimes been a little bit more honorable. It's not just about oil and uh, lithium or whatever the hell else is in Afghanistan. Is but, that Voltaire that wrote about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, you go to war at the sound of uh, trumpets. Of trumpets, and you're a hero. And but if you do the same thing without that, you'd be a murderer. Well, yeah. murder is yeah. repugnant. Murder is repugnant unless it's to the sound, to the sound of, trumpets. of trumpets. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and also you have the question of reconciliation. Suppose somebody does steal from somebody else. Burying the hatchet. But yeah. they're like, hey, I'm really sorry. Da da da. You know, they make amends. Right. There's room for forgiveness, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it doesn't yeah. have to be permanent, right? Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't have to be permanent. Yeah. That trust is something that's you know, built over time and yeah. you can lose it instantly. So, you know, you don't be surprised if it takes the same amount of time to build it back up. Yeah, you yeah, know. Or longer. The bridge builder thing. What is the bridge builder thing? Uh oh. <laughs> Come on, John. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know that I could. Uh, it's about dying. Being a bridge builder. Anyway, I can't even pull it together. Okay. So anyway. All right. What about endorsement? We'll put of it in the notes below. Uh, <laughs> someone can help. Violent me. ideas. <laughs> mm, how do you mean? Well, like for instance, Stephen Molyneux supporting the cops against. Oh yeah. Um, uh, they support. Um. Well, Eric Holder. Yeah, he was like, he had convoluted something saying that, like, the uh, the local shop owners were a victim because of what he was doing. Who, it, what Holder was doing? No, um, no, um, oh, is it, 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 I'm going to feel bad about this one. No, uh, <laughs> Eric Gardner. Gardner, Gardner. yeah. Um, he, so you know, he was the he was the man who was uh, selling loose cigarettes in the and, oh, and ended right, up being right, suffocated right, right, because right. Death, he yeah. was you know had some health problems. Yeah. Plus, he was a little bit out of shape and he was pinned to the ground and by <laughs> fucking tax collectors and he suffocated to death. And uh, you know, and I, I guess somebody called Stefan Molyneux show and you know brought it up and was wondering his opinion of it and. You know, uh, I guess apparently Stephen Molyneux had, you know, had climbed up the ivory tower that morning and was saying that somehow the shop owners were a victim of what Eric Gardner was doing. And what? Yeah, that, that they were a victim and that, well, you know... Because so this isn't a, a free market. Uh, by, by going around the laws, he's vi- violating... Uh, their property rights. That was essentially his ar- argument. Yeah, yeah. Right. And so, he's made worse. Wow. He's made worse statements since then about various things. Wow. In defense of Stefan Molyneux, I mean, I think if Eric Garner is uh, selling cigarettes in in front of somebody else's store, I mean, well, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter yeah. you know, what what store you're. You're, you're selling them. If that's your store's property, like, you know, go, go sell your, your product somewhere the, else. Don't sell it on my property. The, that it's public property. The, yeah. The public I mean, pro- yeah. Public uh, property. Yeah. Okay, so so if the store had a front yard with, like, grass and it was obviously, right. like, fenced in. And, like, and it was private yeah, property. Yeah, okay. That you right, right. agreed. That's not okay. right. But if you're outside in a, you know, in a, in a common property. area mm-hmm. and you're doing it, it's kind of like, well, this, this, this gentleman is willing to cross that legal line in order to make money right. does he have you know I, I like I've said in the past I don't think it's it's a matter of fear it's a matter of, 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 of rational thinking of your consequences of your actions all that sort of stuff I don't think he's doing anything wrong to the shop owner who is paying the rent and all that sort of stuff. I can, I can see where somebody's like, oh, well, this guy is paying the rent. This guy is buying all the licenses. This guy is buying all the permits. Well, you don't have to, or, well, you shouldn't have to. So if, if you're doing it, that's that's on you. That's right. you they're, yeah. they're clearly a victim of the government, right. but yeah. not yeah. a very exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's the definitely government. the government so, and, yes. and, and, and the whole yeah. thing, you know, up, yeah. up to the... Um, 
the, the, the licensing and in, including the, the murder of a guy who yeah. had no reason to die. So. Yeah. You know, and, and, and on top of that, I mean, just saying that is incredibly callous to be like, oh, the guy who's dead suffocated to death by the cops because he wasn't paying tax on cigarettes. Yeah, it's his fault. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's really callous. So, you know, just right. aside of everything else, you'd be like, said that. You, wow. kind of, yeah. I mean, not exactly in those words, but that's the, the gist of it was he was saying that, like, it was kind of his fault because he was viol- he was violating the rights of the shop owners and therefore blah 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 and yeah hmm. yeah I don't know so ostracize should we ostracize him uh, I I kind of think that's already happened on its <laughs> own I, I, I really yeah, haven't seen really too has, many people yeah. post a video of Stefan Manu's on like Facebook that's just a in a very very, very so long that, time that's, well that's but a, isn't yeah. that what ostracization is is, is a it, market I it would, is I, I mean we do that, that with companies where we there, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's just it, it is kind yeah. of the same thing yeah. it is it's just with personage I'm still a Molyneux fan. I, I, I still listen well, to Well, I don't think all people are bad. You know, yeah. I think there's probably some good stuff about him and, and his philosophies yeah. and what he can bring to the message to people. I mean, and he, we're he talking about He might have done some acrobatics on that issue, but I think most other things that he speaks on, he's, he's and very... I'm, and I'm glad you brought that up, actually, it, because somebody can say something that's completely off-the-wall weird and nobody agrees with it. That doesn't necessarily mean yeah. that the the the... the the line they took to for whatever rationale of other ideas they have are necessarily all of a sudden bullshit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like just because somebody said done. something that didn't make yeah. any sense and we, we may all find it repugnant and all that sort of stuff, it doesn't mean that therefore everything else this right. person has ever yeah. said is completely yeah. entirely yeah. horseshit. Yeah. So I understand what you're saying. You're like, well, I still like the guy. Becomes, it's like, well, okay. You know, but anyway. the question becomes when somebody uh, essentially become, uh, apologizes becomes an apologist for violence it and, do, it does, and doesn't e- doesn't retract his statements but e- it and but in fact double down doubles down on him yeah do you have to say well i can't it does see, it, does, it does come off as being not very respond odd. to credit to criticism right. within the community you know an open letter has been sent and there's been no response to wait, 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 the there's there's an underlying thing going here and i'm not oh, touching okay. it <laughs> I don't remember what that incident was. I remember it was worse than the Eric Gardner thing, though. Right. Yeah. So I, we yeah, we I'm can look it up down. afterwards. Okay. All right, we can put it down. In the notes below. <laughs> yeah. Show notes. Yeah. Show notes. We'll do show notes one day. I swear. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll all be there. <laughs> Somewhere along the line, when we eventually have time to talk about robot sex, there will eventually be, <laughs> yeah. there will eventually be show notes. The epic show! <laughs> <laughs> along with the clip show, we all, we're all one day, there'll be a clip show, and we have like, we definitely have enough funny shit Do to laugh. A too? solid half. An, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can think of like, like a couple of them off the top of my head right now. Like, that'd be hilarious just as a clip. Uh, a lot of stuff we talked about just before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, but if the camera's on, the mic's on, it counts. It don't do more, right? <laughs> <laughs> it counts, yeah. but yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, Money shot. <laughs> <laughs> Money shot. So if, like, so... Is that hydraulic fluid? We're talking about... Yeah, so, like, yeah. If we, if, if, ostracizing. Okay, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... If a robot takes a money shot that is not hydraulic fluid, is that something that would possibly damage the mechanics of the uh, of the android and therefore be a, like a violation, violation of, the of the property? Yeah, right. violation of the non-aggression principle. Thank you. How would that be a violation of the non-aggression? I don't know, but I think we magically <laughs> wrapped that one up beautifully. That was like, that was like a. That was like somebody catching a ball that's about to be like go past like the fair you know pole, what? you know. That was like, oh <laughs> got it my saved. No. Uh, saved. I don't it. even know what we're I talking about finished. anymore, but we're out of time, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, the viewers will understand. Oh, good night, everybody. See you Bye. next week.